everybody, Taylor here and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi, thanks for stopping by, make sure you hit that subscribe button, subscribe to the fam so you can get notifications when I post new videos, I do a plethora of fashion, thrift haul, styling, um, DIYs, which are remixes, and a, a whole host of mommy and organization videos too. So without further ado, let's get right to the video. Today I have a long awaited thrift haul. Thrift haul. I feel like I have done a thrift haul in so long. I'm a little hyped about it. Um, sorry, the light is changing a little bit. I'm using natural light today. So I have a big bag here full of stuff that I collected over the past few months, I would say, but I have definitely been scoring some good stuff. Um, everything is kind of more mm, basic, neutral, blacks, whites, grays, so yeah, but there's still some pieces, so let's just get right into it. Um, I have two accessory items, and I got them from, both are from Raw Fashion, and both of them were both of them are J. Crew pieces. So I'll start with the one I most recently got like last week. And it is these really cute J. Crew studs. Um they were eight bucks and they kinda look like J. Crew to me and then when I I bought them I looked on the back of them and they were stamped J. Crew so I wore these yesterday. Um I might actually wear these again today but they kinda hurt a little bit because they are kinda big and weighty but yeah, eight bucks for these. Um, next thing I got was this really cute rope bracelet. Um, I have one other rope bracelet that I got from J. Crew that I also thrifted from a raw fashion, and this one was seven bucks. I just love it. It's blue and white, and I'm gonna do definitely do some close-up shots of these too. But it has all these rhinestones and beads, and then some beads apart, and more rhinestones, and I just love it. Um, the one stone is loose after I started wearing it, but I love this. It's great for a nice little arm party for people still do that. I don't know. I do sometimes, I guess. So those are my two J. Crew pieces. Got this from Goodwill. I got it 50% off. I think I spent like three bucks on this or two bucks on this. I think it was four dollars and I got it for two. So um, the brand is, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I always say Diletta. Or Delita. Um, if this is an anthropology brand, so this was a great score. Um, it's beautiful. And if you watch my vlogs that I posted previously, I've mentioned this shirt in one of my vlogs. Um, I was wearing it, so it's just black. <laughs> First black piece. And what I like about it is that it has this satin part here, this V neck, and then it has this really beautiful back detail, which I hope you guys can see. Um, I might do some try-ons, I'm not sure. I don't want this video to be too long, but it has this beautiful layered fabric with this beautiful kind of flower um, cut out lace and then there's like a sheer chiffonny part underneath. So I got that and I love it. It's very nice. Okay, next piece I got the same time I got the earrings and it's just a J. Crew basic. Um, long sleeve it's extra small oh the other shirt was a small and this i believe i got for 60 percent off i want to say it was three or four or six dollars something like that really really inexpensive um but great kind of like a bluish gray white stripes kind of has like a little wider collar and then what's really nice is that it has these zipper details on either side so you can zip it, unzip it, and the back is a little bit longer too, which is always great because it covers the bum. So it has like a little high-low thing going on. Great basic stripe piece, like I can't have enough stripe pieces in the wardrobe. Something that was definitely on my thrift wish list was a white sweater. Oh, it says inside out. So, I've been looking for a white sweater and I finally found one at Revolve Fashion. It was 60% off. And I think I got it for eight or nine dollars. So a little bit of a splurge. Either it was eight or nine or I think six. I don't know. Everything was basically under ten dollars. But I got this sweater and I tried it on. This is a tip for all of you out there. Um, always
always check all the sizes because this is a large it is not a large well I found in the large section it's not a large I tried it on and obviously this thing shrinks because it fit me pretty well um, a little bit loose but definitely not like a large would fit um, and I think I shrunk it in the wash because I washed it like at least twice or three times already and I noticed that like it shrunk so I think that's what happens to them but it's more of a crop sweater so like it has a side slits but it's really nice um, the length is still good so just gonna like not dry it in the dryer from now on I'm just gonna let it air dry um, but yeah got this great basic for my winter wardrobe next two pieces are just real basic like real basic a gray tank because you can't have enough gray tanks actually I don't really have a gray tank this one is J. Crew. it's extra small great quality material I think this was 250 and I got it from Revolve Fashion again 60% off you can't go wrong and it's super ah no they be a hole in my shirt that was not there before I promise that was not there before anyways for 250 I will patch it it's super comfy got the racer back okay next basic piece but is a wardrobe staple that every person must have in their wardrobe and that is a white tee yup a white tee <laughs> this one is just gap stretch and again it's a nice large but like does this look like a large to you <laughs> um it's just a great basic the material is really awesome um 97% cotton 3% spandex but it's just really great and it's not super tight fitting but it fits me very well a little loose it's I don't like it you know my shirts to be too too tight you know like that's restricting but it's great comfy nice layering piece and it's thick it's thick enough where if I'm wearing a colored bra underneath I'm not afraid that it's gonna show through which is great I hate those thin t-shirts where you have to wear a tank underneath I have to beat the purpose all right moving into some more heavier pieces I got this express sweater this was thirteen dollars um from Revolve Fashion oh yeah the t-shirt I got from Revolve Fashion I think it was ten dollars ten or eight dollars this is like a really cool sweater this express sweater is like um like a sweater cape or poncho because you see how it curves there and it has like the shorter three-quarter leg sleeves and it has this tribal print up on the front and the back this thing is warm like when it was the fall time and I was trying to wear this and it wasn't like super super cold out I was burning up at work like I had to take this thing off it's a size medium but definitely fits kind of slightly oversized but it's great to wear over top of leggings or skinny jeans just a nice it's like it's comfy but you still look cute and this thing I think has like some mohair in it too so that's why it's super warm and I've washed it a couple times so you know it gets a little pilly pilly but it is a huge massive thing and I love it black and white as you can see a theme black white great okay the next thing I have is not black white or gray but okay well it has some black and some white in it but I just got this recently and oh my goodness this thing is gorgeous it's gonna be hard to show because it's probably gonna look just like a big old piece of fabric but I got this cape okay <laughs> I got it from Revolve Fashion I think it was $12 which it was a 12 I think it might have been $16 something like that under 20 for this really beautiful shawl poncho wrap I think it's called I think it's a shawl though it's from Charter Club and it's just a one size type of thing so on those days when you need that extra layer of warmth you just pop this sucker on what drew me to it was the print I mean it's a shawl it's got the fringe on the bottom and the fact that it kind of has the plaid kind of like Burberry inspired plaid kind of made me want to get it too but it's nice it's thin so it's not like really thick but it adds that extra layer that would be good when you're trying to stay warm northeast Ohio because it was like 
Six degrees this morning. Hence the big chunky sweater. All right, moving on to the bottoms. Okay, another basic. And guess what? It's gray. Um, just got this. Um, it's Hue size small leggings, which uh, Hue leggings are supposed to be like really great quality. I think these are like eight nine bucks. Um, I got them for raw fashion again, um, and they're great fit. I mean, I don't really own too many like legging leggings because a lot of my pants don't fit anymore, and like you know you can't have leggings for too long. So I need to restock on some. So got those. All right, next piece I got, I think this was 50% off sale at Revolve, and this is a while back, but I have been wearing this, and it is this Ralph Lauren, it's Ralph, Ralph Lauren, 100% um, leather dress, it's size 8, but it fits really well, it's just basically like, I would say like a sheath dress, because it has like the seaming, and it comes in at the waist, um, and then the back just looks like that. So the front kind of scoops down almost like a square neckline. And it's just, you know, sleeveless. But this looks great layered. And I'm thinking I want to do a styling video on how I styled this baby. So if you want to see that, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. I'll be more than happy to get that up for you. But yeah, this is great. The only thing that I kind of was like bummed about when I after I purchased this and like you always noticing like after you buy things like there's little imperfection and things so like it's leather so whoever tried this on like zipped the zipper down all the way and like tore like the fabric from the zipper but you can't tell and you know so there's like a patty hole but whatever you can't really mend it because it's leather once there's a hole there's a hole and it's gonna be there forever but I like it it's super cute. I wore it a few times and I got lots of compliments on it. Next is a skirt. It's a beautiful skirt. Definitely a wardrobe staple. Um, just in the shape. Again, definitely not the color, but it's this beautiful J. Crew again. Eight line skirt. It is wool. Perfect for the winter. And it has these beautiful pockets. Anything with pockets is like a joy to have when you're a girl. But it is beautiful, sea foam, mint green. It looks great with white. It looks great with black and white. It looks great with gray. It looks it looks good with all the neutrals. I love this thing. Uh, I just cannot believe that it was on sale for sixty percent off. I think I got it for like four or six dollars. No one bought it. I'm shocked. But I bought it. Okay. Um, last two bottoms are pairs of pants. This one is BCBG Max Azria, size small. Oh, the other skirt, the J. Crew skirt, was size zero. I'm in zero now, guys. Crazy. Anyway, so again, needing pants. These are like legging pants. I say legging pants because they're a very thick material, but they're extremely stretchy. Has the elastic waist, but I love the zipper details up here. It has one zipper here two zips here. Two of these are actual row pockets and the other one's just like a faux pocket. And then another little great detail is it has this white kind of tuxedo stripe on the bottom, on the side. I mean these pants, when you put them on like they just do me right. <laughs> they just do me right and they make me look cool. <laughs> I don't know. It's like they're comfy but then they look chic. So that's a plus, especially if you're a mom, a busy mom, a working mom, a mom on the go. Next pair of pants. Um, woo, okay, bag is empty now. Last pair of pants that I got were, the. actually if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me when I first hauled this and when I styled it and stuff. It's Ann Taylor Ralph. It's an extra, extra small. Um, but they're actually kind of a little big on me now, but what else is new? The weight is fluctuating, so things are either too big, too small, and, you know, what have you. But these are awesome. These are my go-to pants this fall when I purchased them. They're almost like a, they're like a soft pant. They have the elastic waistband. They have an elastic around the ankle. It has a really cool... Sorry if I keep looking off. I'm trying to look in the view to see if I'm in frame. But it has this great zipper. Um... It has 
so slit pockets in the back, which is great. It also has pockets, almost like a cargo pocket. What is this yellow stuff? Yellow thread. Um, in the front. They're really great. I love the fact that it's a navy with this white and burgundy and like a red and orange. Great fall colors. And I love blue, as you guys know. But I didn't buy too much blue this time, which is great. I bought a lot of black, but I mixed in a few pops of color and print. So we got some plaids and some prints going on. Last thing I got was from Value World. I have not been to Value World or shopped at Value World in in a very long time. Um, but Colton's daycare is kind of out that way. So I was really early one day and I dropped it off. I just had a little bit of mommy me time to myself before I had to go to work. And so I've been looking for a coat. Uh, it's like I feel like you get so many coats and then after a while they get ratty and you get rid of them and then you just want like really nice coats to go with your outfits. You don't always want to, you know, wear the same coat over and over again. So I was just looking through their coats and I mean, I found a lot of great brands and stuff. Some were a little bit price, overpriced and some of them were just in bad condition. I was so gutted. Quick little story, guys. So gutted. Went and found like three coats, kind of like the same color cream, beige, cream and tan. I found this beautiful J. Crew tan double breasted pea coat. Try it on. It fits so beautiful. And then I started looking at the sleeve had these nasty, disgusting stains and I was like, ain't no way this is coming out. So I had to let it go. But then I tried this beautiful baby on. It is Ann Taylor. Um I guess it came from the factory or the outlet size small. And I mean this is what I'm seeing in like the catalogs and the magazines. This type of Faux shearling, it's like a faux suede. I'm trying to hook it for you guys. It has these two hooks and it wraps and then it has the belt and then it's suede on the one, faux suede on the one side and then the faux shearling on the other. The whole inside is shearling. And then, can you guys really see? And then the sleeves, you can cuff the sleeves up if you want. I mean, this coat. Like, when you have it on and you wrap it with the belt, it just looks so chic. I've gotten to wear it a few times before it got too extremely cold here, but definitely is that transition of cold when it's starting to, when it's starting to get cold, but it's not, like, below zero in the teens. <laughs> but really, really cute. Absolutely love this coat. Uh, I love it. And if you guys are wondering, like, how do I clean my clothes that I thrift, depending on what the material is this did say dry clean only however i feel like it's not worth it for me to take it to a dry cleaner sometimes only because one it's expensive and two you really don't know what the chemicals they're putting on your clothes that you know can be harmful to your body also harmful to the fibers of the material which could break it down um usually what i do is i mean if there's a big major spots that you could treat the spots but i basically just put it in the washer on the gentle or delicate cycle and then I just laid it out to dry I laid it flat to dry and that was great it came out and then but like the dummy that I am I got some of my lip gloss on the back of it but you can't see because it's like that but I mean I definitely will be cleaning this frequently because it's such a light color So that is everything, everything that I hauled um, for the winter of 2016 and it is now 2017 and this is my first haul um, that I'm posting of the year. So um, thank you all so much for watching. Please, please, please make sure you subscribe. I want to say a big thank you to all my new subscribers. I know we've hit over 200 and I haven't done a giveaway. I don't know if I'm going to wait till we hit 300 or I'm going to be doing that sometime this year, further down the line. Just a lot has been going on, obviously. Um, and I have some other life updates, but I don't want to do it all in this video because I don't want this video to be too crazy long. But thank you guys so much for watching. And if you are a thrifter, let me know in the comments below what is some awesome pieces that you found um, last year or your favorite thrifted pieces for the winter or the fall or whatever you want to share with me. I love watching thrift videos and hearing about that stuff so if you have a video please link it below i would love to check it out and if there's any suggestions you want to see for me in the new year just let me know i definitely am going to be coming with more 
frequent uploads. I'm trying to do once a week, maybe twice a week, but I really want to do once a week. So, thank you all so much for watching, and as always, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you next time.